What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name or Max as people know in the real world and today I'm bringing you guys just a couple rounds of a competitive S&D gameplay and the regular video was going to be about a 10 minute video that I was going to be bringing to you guys today. I'll bring it out tomorrow instead because as soon as it got done rendering I got this breaking news from my teammate and friend Plizix or Alex in the real world and his channel is in the description below so go check him out and basically I confirmed this. I'm going to read you this tweet. It's a huge thing. So from Sledgehammer Games, or the, their Twitter account is at SH Games, we are thrilled to develop the next generation of at Call of Duty for 2014. Huge fans of the franchise, much more to come, a new era begins. And several other Twitter accounts confirm this. They are making the next Call of Duty. So, this means that now they're going to be having a three year cycle of developing the games with between the three developers if you didn't know sledgehammer games they developed mw3 so that's where they're coming from so there's a few things to this so the pros that i see are more time is going to be spent making each game and you know i in the past some of these games have seemed that they needed to be polished just a little bit more but they were rushed to release so i think that we're going to be seeing much better call of duty games now more time will be spent on them so i think that's going to be a really good thing also, now that there's three companies, maybe they will share the technology between them uh, some more and make a, a better game. Because, you know, some of the developers have been better at making hit detection work good, others making better maps, others are good at the competitive scene, uh, the colors, just all sorts of things like that. So maybe they'll share it a little bit and we'll just get a much better game in general. The cons are that they made MW3. That game was not very good. It was definitely awful for the competitive scene um, so hopefully it won't be like that hopefully they learned from their mistakes making that game it has been several years now so I believe that they can definitely improve now also if they don't succeed competitive COD could be in trouble because if it's like MW3 if it's anything like that if they didn't learn from their mistakes it could kind of make the numbers go down for competitive COD as far as who's spectating who's participating uh, tournaments, events, all of those things, but I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say that they have learned from their mistakes and they're going to make a good game. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.